Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and what I'm going to do today is I've got some of these just old magazine pages, and I've got some scraps that are mainly neutral, and I'm going to make some, some people call them master boards, I call them collage pages, just whatever you want to call them, and then when we finish, we're going to stamp on them, and then maybe put some focal points, and then we'll cut them out and make tags and pockets and things like that. So, and I am not going to worry about if they're torn or if they're straight. I'm just going to glue. Just going to glue. We can always fix it somehow or other, can't we? It takes too much time to cut them off straight, and it takes a lot of time to make sure all the edges are torn. So, this will probably be a little mixture. But I don't have any collage pages left. I'm completely out. And I like to use those when I'm making journals and things because it helps you out a lot with your tags and pockets and things. And some of the backgrounds are going to be pretty large. Some of them are going to be small. Or some of the pieces are going to be large. Some of them are going to be small. We're just going to make some. And like I said, most of this is going to be neutral. So we'll put other things on top of it. But I've got this whole bag, and I'll show you, I'll pull it over here. I've got this whole bag of basically neutral sheets. And I thought, okay girl, you need to do something with these. They're growing out your ears. me I'm gonna glue on my mat I did clean this mat up I got the glue off of it <clears throat> I got the excess glue off of it so I'm gonna glue on it if I can my glue is very gummy because it's humid here today it's not hot it's just we had a very cool night last night but it's humid today So how are you guys doing? Do y'all do y'all do collage pages? Do you not? What do you do? I like doing them. Uh, it uses up a lot of your scraps, and it makes lots of tags and pockets that you can use down the road too. Now I have no rhyme or reason to my collaging. I just put it down. I, I may start in four corners. I may start in the middle. I, I don't really have a rhyme or reason. So let's see what else we got here. We'll use some Edith Holden book page. That's basically kind of neutral. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with that side. And we will use a lot of glue today since it's gumming up especially there's a big glob right there keep a wipey handy I'm gonna cut that little portion off right there that's got the white edge on it and I may go over some of them like this who knows and excuse me if I cough and <clears throat> all day because I have a tickle in my throat again and I know it's just allergies because I didn't have it until I went outside I didn't have the tickle but we've got lots of things dying around here this week lots of trees and leaves and bushes and everything else so what do the people call it ragweed I guess it's ragweed whatever it is I don't like it <laughs> that glue is just like a, a big wad of gum coming off of that. Oh, Lordy. It's a mess. And if I have them a little bit, ugh, a little bit too big, I'll uh, just trim them off at the end. Not a big problem. There's a good little piece right there. Oh. Okay, we gotta get a wet wipe now. I 
think I'll put it right there and then put some other little something down there on the, over here on this side. I've got a printer going over there in the background printing lots more pages for the next journal. So if you hear something, that's the printer. I tried to get it finished before I started my video and it there's a lot of pages in there. So I didn't get it finished. Try a piece of that and I may put a little piece of the screen. I got some of that. Let's just, let's just go to town. Let me grab a wipey. Just need to make sure you put the right amount of glue on it. Just put quite a bit of glue. Because if you don't, it'll end up coming off on you. And that one I put, I put way too much glue because I got it on both sides. Now, if you're using one of our mats like this, Every so often, if you'll just take your wipey and just go over it, it'll get all that glue up. And then I just go back over it with a little dry one and you're set. You're ready to go. There we go. It doesn't take much. And I, I like them because I'm not wasting anything. I'm not throwing things away. When I get them all gummed up, I can just take this to my sink, spray a little dawn on it and put it in the sink and wash it off let's see I think that will go that way and this is an old magazine that uh, Echo Park sent me a long time ago that had a little paper on it and I cannot bring myself to throw them away I know I'm sliding 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 this I didn't tape this down normally I tape it down didn't tape it down this time. I think I'll use a little piece of, this is straw paper. Put down in there and give it a little bit of extra color. Oops. See how gummy that glue is? It's, it's a mess. Do that. I've got some of this paper. This is that drawing paper that I get that I love to back my tags in. You could also stamp words and things on these little pieces of paper, but I've got so many stamped already that I don't really need any more right now. So I was trying to think of something else I could come up with to do with them. And I tried just not to make put the ends even. I try to make sure all of the ends are at different levels. You don't want them even. Excuse me, my nose is itching. Must have some dust in this bag here. And let's see. I got a couple of little, just little skinny places. Let's see if we can find some little skinny paper. There's a piece of little skinny paper we could put. This it's got the little lines in it, so we'll put a piece of that up here somewhere. Now I probably way over glue, but I just don't want them to come apart, so I put lots of glue. Alright, 
what we need, let's see, is that glued down or, yeah. I need one more little piece right there. So, let's take a little piece of this. This is some um, handmade paper that someone sent me. And I have used all of it except little bitty pieces. Now, I'm going to lay this aside and let it dry a little bit before I drag my stamps out and start stamping on it. Because I don't want my stamps to get glue gummed up on them. So, I'm going to put that one aside and we'll grab another. Like I said, I have plenty, plenty of paper to do this with. I am not shy on scraps. Another piece of this. So, what are you guys up to today? What are you doing? I'm crafting and trying to keep my daughters from calling me every five minutes while I'm doing a video. They never ever call me. Sometimes they text me until I get on the video and then they start. I know I've told y'all that many times before. And some people use little beauty pieces to make their master boards or collage, whatever with. I don't like to use little bitty ones on the background because it takes me forever to get it done when I use little ones. So I usually use some that are pretty good size. I can always put something over them if they don't. You know, I can always stamp them or put focal points or whatever on them if they don't look quite right. Oops, I'm going to cut that a little bit straighter on the end. Well, either the printer ran out of paper or it just decided to quit. Another good scrap right there. And I like to put some of the words and things upside down, some of them right side up, sideways. So I may just speed part of this up just so that, um, I mean, you guys can know what I'm doing anyway, so. May speed part of it up just so it doesn't take quite so long.
we have that one covered. I'll lay it aside and I'll clean up my mess a little bit here and then I'll grab that other one and we'll start decorating it up a little bit. Start out by doing some different stamping around on here and I've got just a collection of stamps here. This is a Tim Holtz uh, ticket booth stamp. This is a uh, Studio 429 Stampers Anonymous and I don't know. We did have these in stock. I don't don't know if we still do. I can't see that shelf from here. It says background stamp script. And then this one that I showed yesterday in the video and I linked it on that video yesterday. And then my favorite little script stamp. So we're going to do some different stamping. And I'm just going to start out with my little beady. And I am using Versafine Sepia ink. Well, I think we do have that in stock, I believe. I don't know what we have in stock and what we don't. Melina, <laughs> Melina is the one that can tell you that. And I've just got my mat down here because I'm not going to try to keep it on. I'm just going to stamp it until it won't stamp anymore. And then we'll go to the next one. I'll do a few of these. And I, you can use a stamp block. I guess I need to on some of these. Some of them are bigger. And I can't really hold them with my hand too well. But I don't want them to stamp perfect. I just want them to stamp a little here and there. And I'm just turning them in different ways. Well, let's see. Let's stamp this one this way. So I will be flipping my paper around and around. So if that bothers you... I'm sorry, but that's the way I have to do it sometimes. And let's see. Let's do a little bit more of that burlap looking. I don't want to get up and get another stamp block, so I'm just going to use this one. I'm feeling the laziness today. And the idea is just to give a little texture to your background. That's what you're, that's what you're doing. So why sometimes I like using these smaller stamps because you can actually kind of put the texture where you want. The larger ones, it's good, but sometimes they put a little bit too much texture down there. And I try to go over my seams as I stamp, like. Right here is three together. Just try to go over those like that. There. And then just turn your stamp different ways. And then I like to stamp off so that there's just one kind of hanging off there. There we go. Now let's see what are we going to use. Let's use... Let's use this one. It says collection. And I don't worry about if I've got it right side up or upside down. I just stamp. I just stamp. Turn my paper around. And this paper is curling a little bit. And that's just because I have got a lot of glue on there. It'll flatten out when I put it under a little book. So I'm just going to stamp this off until I don't have any more stamping on there. Alright. Now what do we want to put on? Let's use a little bit of this. And I, I'm just going to use like the middle part. I'm going to put my finger in there like that. And just kind of roll it. And it gets some ink in certain places. And then I am just going to go like that. It doesn't give you a full image, but it just gives you a little bit. And that's what I like.
cool. I think that's probably... I'm going to go ahead and get the ink off of this. Just because. And I try to go either this way or this way. I don't go like sideways and catty cornered. I, I mean, you can if you want to. That's just my way. Okay, we're going to put that one aside and let it dry. Then we'll pull this one out. And you can see it's curling too, but that's because I put lots of glue under there. It'll flatten out eventually. Okay, let's start out with this little stamp. I love this stamp. Ah, sorry about that, that my pad is picking up. Do a little texture and you could do it in different colors if you want that's strictly up to you I just usually use the same color all over okay then we'll go with a little of this one And I get ink all over my fingers. I don't worry about that. That is not a problem with me. I, it'll wash off. And if it doesn't, it'll wear off. <laughs> all right, there's a section right there. Then we've got like three of them right here. So I'll put one there. Then I'm just going to use my little favorite stamp here. Put a little bit of writing in the background there. Okay, I think that might be enough on that one. So that's our stamping. I'm going to let that dry for just a second and then we'll go on and add some different focal points on there and then we'll cut it up and see what we got. Now I was going to put my focal points down and then cut, but I think I've changed my mind. I think I want to cut and then put some focal points down. Just because I don't want to cut, like if I put this flower down, I don't necessarily want to cut it in half. So you could do, you could put focal points, but I'm planning on putting flowers and birds and I really don't want to like cut the bird in half or whatever. Uh, let's see. I am going to cut them at three and a half, maybe. That would be a good size tag. So that's three and a half. Uh, this way we may cut, and I'm not really looking at, you could turn it upside down if you want to really be surprised. I'm not really looking at what's on here. I'm just looking at what size tag I might want. Um, there's another three and a half. Then I think I'll make a couple pockets. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure, I might want my pocket three no i'm gonna make my pockets at three and a half two just so that i'll be able to get two out of this or i can make this let's make that into a corner a corner took two corner tucks there we go so we've got two corner tucks now you could cut different ways make lots of different things but my tags i want it to be kind of long so these tags are, if you shorten them, you can make more things. This is seven and a half, and I'll probably end up having to trim it down just a little bit on the edges and the bottom. So I am going to trim off that little edge there just to smooth it up a little bit. And then the bottom, smooth it up. There we go. And then I'll do the same thing with this one. Uh, it's kind of smooth on the edge. I'll just do the bottom. And looks like the top. 
Okay. Now. Now that's a nice thick tag. I am going to back it, of course, to um, make sure that you have something to write on on the back. But let's see what we want to put on these. Now this ended up being seven and three quarters. That one is. This one I think is a little shorter. This one is seven and a quarter. And you know, we may cut this one off just a little bit. I'm going to trim it. Let's see. I'm going to trim it on this end. And I'm going to cut about that much off. I'll make my tag six. And then this little piece we'll use as another little tuck. All right. Now we're going. So let's do some decorating. Now I've got different flowers here that I've just pulled out of my stash. I've got the lady. There's a flower that's already cut. I've got some birds, some labels. So I'm going to see what we want to put on here. This poor old flower has been stuck in and out of a bag so many times. It's about ready to break. And I think I'm actually going to put that on there. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to put a tiny bit of light colored book page behind this. The reason being is the center of this and this is almost the same color. So I want it to stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to grab a little scrap of a lighter color book page. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, that one right there will work. And then we'll just tear it down through here. And then I like to ink it up on the edges. So what do you guys call these? Master boards or collage pages or what? I mean, is there a difference in a master board and a collage page? I don't know. I am not real sure. I don't want my little piece the same height as my flower, so we're going to tear it off. I am not real sure. Let's see. Yeah, I think I want it right there. Okay. So let me know if there's a difference. I'm sure you guys know a whole lot more than I do about that. Alright, then I want my flower here, and then I'm going to grab, I'm going to go into some of these labels. See if we can figure out one that would look pretty good behind that. That's too big. I have a ton of these labels. No, I don't think I need one that way. I need one the other way. Too big. Well, I said I was going to use some of these labels. I don't know if they're going to work. I need some that are thinner and the right color. Let's just go with that one. It just says this end up. <laughs> oh, me. These I got from, well, different sources. Some of them, I'm sure all of them came from AliExpress. Just a, one of those cheapo things. But I also got a few, I think, from different YouTube, uh, different friends on YouTube, so. I'm sure the ones that I bought probably come from AliExpress. And they're such an odd color, it's hard for me to use them. I thought, when I looked at them, they looked like a really good green and red, but they ended up not being that color, which is kind of what you get when you're ordering like that. But... It's hard for me to use them because I don't use the, the purples and all that, that that come in. 
But every now and then I can find one that I use. Let's see. I want to put that over just a little bit. Okay. There. We finally got it down on there. Well, that little piece we didn't. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. And of course, you know what we're going to put down here. Just a little piece of washi. Somebody asked me, why did, why did you put that washi on the bottom of those flowers? I said, to hold them down. They were like, what? <laughs> I said, no, seriously, it's just a habit. It's just something that I think I like it. I think it looks good to me. And I've got washi, so why not use it that way? Okay, and then we'll cut this into a little tag shape. And I do, I did find my tag template somewhere. There it is. Buried under everything. Oh, I guess I should back it before I cut it, but that's okay. I'll back them off camera because you guys know how to put backings on tags. That's not hard. Just find some solid or almost solid paper and... Yeah, I like that. And I may stitch around them. I don't know. I'm thinking about that part. But there's one. Now this is going to be kind of a tall one. That'll be okay. We should be able to come up with something to put on there. I've got tons of flowers that I just need to get them cut out. I've got our large flowers that we have in the store. I just need to get them cut out. I don't have time to, to cut them right now. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to do a bird. I think we'll do, let's see, I've got a lot of these cut out, but they're kind of small, so I don't think they're going to work on this great old big tag. So let's try something else, maybe. It doesn't have to be a flower or anything like that. It can be something completely different. What about our girl? You know what? I think I'm going to cut this tag off. And I'm going to use the little bottom as another little tuck. Like I did that other one. It's harder for me to decorate larger tags. So I'll use those as tucks. Than it is smaller tags. Well, she kind of blends with the background a little bit too much. Now I'm still putting together one little journal. It's almost finished completely, but I still have a few more little things to do to it before I ship it out. So I might. Oh, I kind of like that one on there. Okay, I'm just going to go around a little bit. Take care of some of that white. Not much, because it doesn't need it. And then I'll put that there, but again, I'm going to take just a little piece of book page. Okay. Then, let's see what else we might do. Let's see if we've got a label that will go with this. See that those purples and all of that? I don't use purples. And then up at the top, I think I'll trim that one out and use that one. And I'm just going to cut it. I've got some scissors. Some, i got little scissors somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Okay. Let's see if we can put that one down. This one says, The man who fears losing has already lost. Okay. Well, I thought that was a sticker, but I guess it's not. And then, I'm pretty sure that's a sticker, but I'm going to put my book page down first. I like the stamping in the background. 
Okay, we'll put our flower down. And it's going to take me a minute to glue this, so I'll cut this part out because it's got a lot of little pieces going out to the sides. Alright, then this one. Put a little bit of ink around it just to kind of tone down a little of that color there. Make it blend a little bit better with what I already have on there. Oops. I got it crooked. Okay, that looks a little better. Okay, I like that one too. Anybody see my template? My tag template? There it is. Oh yeah, I like that one. I may have got that tag a little crooked, but it's down there now. No change in it. I think once we decorate it up, it'll be fine. We're going to punch a hole and put some seam binding in there. Let's see what else we have. We have this little corner. Now this is going to be... Which corner will that be? That one will go up that way. So that will be the up part. I am going to take just a little bit of this these tips off because they tend to get bent real easy. So let's see, we should have some flowers that's about the right size for those. Oh, I think I like that blue one on there. Now again, let's search for a tag. A tag that's got some blue in it. Could put it right there, like that. And then, I had that little piece of book page that I may just slide in right here, but I'm going to I'm going to trim it again because I don't need that big a piece. Now I won't get all of these done today because if I got all of them done it would probably take me on the video. It would take a long video and I don't want it to be that long. So what I'll do is I'll finish them up and then I'll have photos at the end of the video. Let's put that When I know you hear my squeaky chair every time I move, that's just, I can't find my WD-40, so <laughs> it's just going to have to squeak a little bit today. I looked for it last night and I couldn't find it, so I don't know where it's got off to. Alright, I'm letting the flower just tip both of them, the, the label and the book page. All right, and then this little piece of washi that I had left over. We're just going to take a tiny piece of that and put it right there. Save that for another little piece. And I'll go ahead and ink around these and they'll be ready to go in the journal. Okay, there's that one. I think that's cute too. Let's do the pocket next. Um, so this is the up. So let's go ahead and punch our pull up there just so that we don't forget which is up and which is down. Because you know I'm famous about doing that. There we go. I kind of like those purple flowers on there. Both of them. I know they're not the same, but I kind of like the looks of it. Let's see about this. Cause you got that little bit of purple right there. Nope, not that. I think. See, I don't think one would, well, one might do it if it, it does kind of go off in that direction. We could put that one on there. Or, let's see, what about a truck? Ooh, that stands out nice and pretty, doesn't it? Or even this. 
Oh, that's about the right size. I think I'm going to put this on there. And I am going to put a little piece of book page behind it. I know you say, why do you put book page behind them? Well, it's to me, it just makes them stand out a little bit more. I, I don't know if that is a thing or not, or if it does, but to me it does. Something that's a different color. See, I've got tans back here, and I've got tans here. So something to me that's a little bit different color just helps it stand out a little bit more. That's my thought anyway. And I'm not covering up a lot of the background, so even though I, I did all of that on there, I'm not covering up a lot of it. Sorry, I had to rattle and get my ruler here because I want to tear this a little bit better. Let's just tear it off about right there. And this is a very old book page. It's pretty brittle. It's a good way to reuse them when they're real brittle because you can't really do a lot with them other than this. Okay. And we're going to go around this with a little bit of ink just to cover up where I didn't get trimmed good. This is from one of Alicia's Digitals. Delicious Digitals. Don't remember the name of it, but you'll see it. <laughs> I'll link them below. You know I can't remember names. Oh, I put that book page up too high. Hmm. Well, it's going to have to be. I'll just move this over a little bit this way. Yep, I put it up too high. See, I meant to have it down at the bottom of that, and I didn't. But we see a little bit of it there, and then I will put a label over here. So, let's see what we got. I think I'm just going to cut this label and put the fall on there. Got enough flowers so I just want the fall and not more flowers I know I've been doing lots of fall and Christmas lately so I was trying to do something a little bit different today because I know you know some people get tired of seeing the same colors over and over again which I love fall and Christmas colors, but tried to do something a little bit different. But I did did come in with a piece of ephemera for our fall journals, didn't I? Okay, I'm going to trim that off just a tiny bit. Now you won't have to back these because this is a pocket. It won't have to be backed. And when I add it to my journal, I may even put you know a piece of lace on it or something like that. But that is that one. Okay, we have got, we've still got another page to go to. This is all we got finished. We've still got three more pieces from that page sheet. So, we got these finished up. And we've still got three more pieces that we need to finish. And then I have another whole sheet to go. So, making up collage pages gives you lots of ephemera and you can do the background all in neutral and then put different colors on the front and to me they look beautiful so all right guys that is it for our video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we will talk to you guys later Bye bye